Hi, and welcome to video two for section 11.2. This is the section on ellipses. So the first example we're going to look at is as follows. So we have the equation x squared over 9 plus y squared over 4 equals 1. We want to find the following. We want to find the foci. We want to find the vertices. We want to find the length of the axes. And then finally, we want to sketch it. All right, a few things. Let's assume this is the final exam, and this is what you're given. So first thing we need to do is try to pick out these key points. First and foremost, is this 1? Yes, it's 1. Okay, we're good. Now we can proceed. So second, we have a plus sign. Plus sign tells me, okay, this is an ellipse. So now if it's an ellipse, I need to know if it's a horizontal or vertical, and I figure that out by where is the bigger number. The bigger number is under the x, so this means this is a horizontal ellipse. So they, this means that my a squared is under the x, and 4 is my b squared. Now I can start finding out this information. So if I want the foci, that's my equation c squared, a squared, b squared. It'll be the same for the hyperbola, but I need to know what goes in here, a plus sign or a minus. Well, it's always opposite of what's here. I have a plus sign, which means this has to be a minus sign. So that means c squared is a squared, which is the value under here, 9, minus b squared, which is 4. So that means c squared is equal to 5. So c is the square root of 5. So therefore, the foci, because this is a horizontal ellipse, my y value isn't going up or down, so that's 0. And then here I have plus or minus whatever my value for c was, so plus or minus the square root of 5. So now the vertices. And in this case, we're just talking about the major vertices, so our a values. So I have a squared is equal to 9. So my vertices are what? It's plus or minus a and 0. Because it's a horizontal ellipse. So if a squared is 9, that means a is equal to 3. So my vertices occur at plus or minus 3 and 0. So the major length is equal to 2 times a. My a is 3, so 2 times 3, which is 6. And my minor length is 2 times b. So 2 times, well, we haven't figured out b yet. We have b squared is equal to 4, so that means b is equal to 2. So put in a 2 there, which means the minor length is 4 units. So now to sketch this, so my vertices are at plus or minus 3 and 0. My major length is 6 units, and I can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so I know I have that part drawn correctly. Minor length is 4, which means I go 2 units up, 2 units down. So that gives me this picture here. <coughs> and that's really it. We're not asked to put the foci in there or anything like that, so we don't really have to. We just want a sketch of what this looks like. And that's it. It's a horizontal ellipse, six units long, four units wide. So my vertices are at plus or minus three, zero, and we get that drawing there. 
All right, if you need to pause, go ahead. I'm going to erase this and we'll get on with our second example here. All right, so our second example, in this case, we just want to find the foci and sketch. Here we have the equation 16x squared plus 9y squared equals 144. So right now this doesn't tell me anything. And why is that? Well, before I can even start, I have to ask myself, is, is this value 1? And it's not. It must be 1. So how do I get that to be equal to 1? Well, I need to divide this by 144. I need to divide this by 144. And I need to divide this by 144. So when I do that, the new equation I get is what? I get x squared. 16 goes into 144 9 times. y squared. 9 goes into 144 16 times is equal to 1. So now that I've done this, if this was the exam and it just said, here's an equation, find the foci and sketch, that would be the first step I have to do. Now I'm going to look. Well, this is a plus sign. That means it's an ellipse. The bigger number is under the y. So because it's under the y, that tells me what? It tells me that it's a vertical ellipse. All right, that's as much help as I'm going to give you right now. We know it's a vertical ellipse because the bigger number is under the y. So go ahead, pause the video, try to find the foci, try to sketch this out. So you probably have to figure out the uh, a and b so you know the widths and the lengths of the minor axis, major axis. So like I said, pause it. Come on back, we'll work it through and try and sketch this. All right, welcome back. I hope everything went okay here. So, because the 16 is our bigger number, this is our a squared, which means that b squared is 9. So for, a, for our foci, that's our value of c. So c squared is a squared, again, because this is plus minus b squared. So c squared is 16 minus 9. C, is equal, C squared is equal to 7, so C is equal, to, uh, is equal to the square root of 7. So the foci, because we know this is a vertical ellipse, my x value is going to be 0, and then it's plus or minus C. So plus or minus square root of 7. If I want to sketch this, I kind of need to know the lengths and widths, and that's my a's and b's. So my a squared is equal to 16, which means that a is equal to, what, the square root of that, which is 4. So my major axis is going to be 4 units up, 4 units down, again, because we're centered at the origin as well. b squared is equal to 9. So that tells me that b is equal to 3. So 3 units left, 3 units right. So if I want to sketch this, so we have 4 units. Again, we're vertical, so 4 units up or down, 3 units left or right, so we get a vertical looking ellipse here. One last topic for 11.2 and this is the idea of eccentricity. And eccentricity has the following formula. E is equal to C over A. And for an ellipse, 
our value of E is always going to be between 0 and 1. So if you're asked on the final exam or if you're asked on exam 3, what is the eccentricity of this ellipse? If we were to use this uh, uh, example here, our eccentricity, our value of E, is C, which is square root of 7, over A, which is 4. So this would be the value for our eccentricity of this ellipse. Again, it sometimes shows up, sometimes doesn't. That's why I didn't put it on that uh, main uh, chart from video one. Uh, but it's good to know, probably, I guess you could put it on there. Um, doesn't matter if it's a vertical or horizontal ellipse. Uh, it'll still have the same formula, C over A. And uh, again, if you're asked to calculate it, that's all you're gonna do. Just eccentricity is equal to C over A. That wraps up video two for section 11.2. Come on back and we'll do 11.3, hyperbolas.